When did you get back mm -hmm. from the pageant? Mm -hmm. I got back about a week and a half ago, uh, the Monday after the Miss America pageant. I drove back with my parents and some of my friends that came to see me. Oh, uh, so it was kind of fun to catch up with them because during Miss America week I was so busy, yeah. I hardly had the chance to really communicate much with them. So I had a fun time catching up with them and then went pretty much straight to the Wayne County Fair. So. Wow, wow, what a whirlwind. I mean, did the, did the pageant meet your expectations or was it like a totally different ball game? It definitely met my expectations. There were so many great opportunities that I hadn't even imagined or quite grasped onto what they might lead to in the future. So uh, getting to be on Good Morning America, Inside yeah. Edition, uh, there were a lot of press opportunities that were really fun. So I got to do all kinds of things that I definitely never would have had I not been Miss Ohio and been involved in this program. So even though I didn't make top 15, it was just an amazing experience that very few people get to experience. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was wondering, was there like something that really stood out in the event mm -hmm. that you really, really enjoyed? Or? I have to say that I really enjoyed the day that we were on Good Morning America. Oh. Um, it was a whirlwind day. We literally were up at about 2.30 a.m. getting ready. Uh, and we were with roommates that night. We were with roommates the whole week, two weeks, but um, that night we were with a roommate, and so we had just started getting to know each other, and mm -hmm. that was a really fun time that we were all learning about each other. Um, but then on top of it, at 2.30 a.m., we were both blow-drying our hair at the same time, and we blew a fuse in our hotel oh, no. room. Yes, and so we had to call the front desk, and <laughs> my roommate complimented what a nice person I must be because when I called the front desk, I said, hey, we blew a fuse, we're trying to get ready. And they were like, okay, we'll have someone up in about a half hour. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, <laughs> I, I hate to be pushy, but I have to be on Good Morning America in about a half hour, and I have wet hair. So if you could send someone up as soon as possible, that would be great. Uh, so it all it all worked out. We actually had to do our hair, or I'm sorry, our makeup in the hallway, oh, wow. uh, so we could get some light. And then eventually they came up and turned you know our fuse back on and we were able to do our hair and we made it there just in time mm -hmm. and everything um, so we were on Good Morning America and then we also were on Inside Edition and so uh, for the filming of Inside Edition we got to go around on a tour bus all around New York City and I lived in New York City for about six months while I was in college and I hadn't been back since so it was really fun to be back and be back as Miss Ohio. Um, and then that night we actually went back to Atlantic City. We had our arrival ceremony and a party. So it was about 24 hours of absolute craziness, Ooh. but I still had a lot of adrenaline at that point. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that was my favorite day out of all the, the days at That's Miss America. That's great, like who was your roommate? My roommate was Miss New Mexico. Oh, Her name cool. was Marissa. We hit it off immediately. We had met briefly in Orlando when we were there for orientation back in July. Um, and then when I found out she was my roommate, I was really excited. Oh, uh, she's such a nice girl. And I literally, we cried when we had to say goodbye to each other. Aww. So you can imagine two girls who are competing in a pageant. We have so much clothing. We're shoved into yeah. one room, a normal size hotel room, oh, have to share it the whole week. And I was very nervous at mm -hmm. first, but we got along so well and had so much fun. And I definitely, she ex enhanced my experience for sure. Oh, great. It was great. Awesome, awesome. And then um, I know that the uh, um, Miss America, Betty Cantrell, had, mm -hmm. had mentioned that she kind of thought during the interview portion she had blown it because mm -hmm. she had sort of sort of bad -mouthed Tom Brady. I was wondering <laughs> if I could pose the same question to you. Do you feel oh, like gosh. <laughs> Tom Brady um, would be, uh, I mean, obviously the verdict's already out now, but right. um, how do you feel about that? The flake gate. <laughs> oh, the flake gate. I have a friend who actually works for uh, the NFL, and so I picked his brain about it oh, a lot. Oh, perfect. So it was very interesting to hear what he had to say. Um, I think that at the bottom line is that we need to focus less on sports <laughs> and more on some news that's really crucial to America. So that was uh, that was my answer that I would have given um, something to that effect that you know the airtime that this scandal was getting was probably blocking out airtime from stories that maybe truly affected people's lives. <laughs> So that's my answer, but I'm always going to be a Tom Brady fan. He's pretty handsome. So. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, well, gosh, sort of move it upon. Like, how did you prepare for the pageant? Um, what were some of the yeah? Tell me about that. Yeah, I had a great time preparing for the pageant. I have to say, it was. 
probably the two craziest months of my life. I was doing so many things, you know, sometimes three different cities within one day, Oof. doing different gown fittings, interview prep, talent prep, uh, but it was all really fun and I, through that process, made a lot of friends uh, and met some new people. I uh, was getting ready for the swimsuit competition at Journey at Strength uh, with Brandon and Andrew and oh, had really? a lot of fun working out there and I now that I'm back I'm still training with them. I was just there this morning actually. Oh cool. <laughs> That's great. Um, and then I also uh, had my beauty sponsor help me out a lot with getting my hair ready, my makeup ready for on stage, mm -hmm. sheer professionals. They've been amazing and so generous and they've also been texting me all Miss America week all Aww. kinds of inspirational things which was awesome oh, that's um, and then talent prep interview prep uh, I also had my send-off party which was so much fun and such a success awesome. everything that I could have ever asked for and I definitely could not have done that without the Worcester community mm -hmm. and the Worcester Inn, TJ's, City Square Steakhouse, Pine Tree Barn, uh, CR Blooms without all of their help could have never had that come to fruition. So it's been truly amazing, and uh, I just want to thank the Worcester community for making this dream. It really it takes a village. So absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>